Hi there everyone! It's getting to be that time of year again. It's a nice Christmas season. Hope all of you guys are doing well and I wish you a very nice and happy holidays. So I thought today I'd do my first little account update video. The Spyrico Squeak is just one of the few things I've gotten recently that I'm pretty excited about. And I just wanted to share some of the things I'll be showing shortly on my channel. So, I'm going to start with flashlights. Well, I'll start with this one. Some of you guys may remember this little guy. I made a video in my so-called EDC unboxing video quite a ways back. And I said I would make a review on this one, but I haven't done that yet. This is the Titanium Innovation CA1 model. The main thing is just the fact that the switching operation no longer works correctly. When I untighten the flashlight itself, it no longer turns off. It takes about three seconds or so. It has a pretty has a pretty long delay. And also the mode switching is inconsistent, it does not go from low, medium, high anymore. So it seems like, and I'm hoping that I just got a lemon and I'll probably be sending it back for warranty. If I do follow up with this and go through the warranty process, I'll definitely let you guys know. So, if I'm not going to be using this little guy anymore, what am I going to be using for my EDC flashlight? Well, I kind of mentioned that a little bit in my Sparkle Squeak video, and it's this beautiful guy right here. This is the Mini AA by 4 Sevens. All right, let's do a little bit of a zooming here. Put on my super snapping. All right, so here we have the Four Sevens Mini AA. Absolutely love this guy. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The knurling here is very, very nice. I don't want to go into too much into into this. I'm gonna be having putting this into a separate review. But overall, I honestly was not expecting to put this into my EDC. But pretty much the fact that when I first saw it, I was I was shocked at how small it actually was, considering it is a double A flashlight. I'll give you a little size comparison quickly. Here is a triple A battery right here, and here is a double A right here. That is just tiny. Let's give you an example here. The actual Titanium Innovation CA1 model is actually not that much smaller put it in right here. Interesting. Hmm. So you get a lot more power, better run times, but the thing is, I don't run this with my regular AA nickel metal hydride and a loop batteries, or even alkalines, but of course I have that option. What am I running with this? I'm running this with 14500 protected EW batteries. And the result oh my this <laughs> it's I was I was so I was absolutely shocked at how bright it actually was. I, of course I checked to see if the flashlight can handle the current first and it can. And I'll be talking more about this light on the review. So another flashlight I got recently I'm really excited to show you guys is the Jetbeam RRT0 model with the XML LED. Absolutely love this guy. Really excited to show you guys my review on this one, on this specific light, because of its versatility and the fact that it's, been, it's able to carry so many different types of battery sources. This flashlight has been out for a while. Of course the XML version just came out couple months ago. I've mainly been using a AW's 14500 batteries. Of course you can use your regular AA Eneloop batteries, you can use primary CR123 batteries, or you can use 16340s as well. I'm pretty excited to do a review on this light as well. Definitely has its purposes, although it, it really is a very large flashlight for being a single cell light, that's for sure. I've done a review a little while ago on the Sparkle Street Beat. Absolutely love this knife. Although, 
I wanted to do a review on this one first before I do a review on this guy, the Spider Co-Parent. Looking, really looking forward to doing a review on this. There are definitely a lot of similarities considering the fact that they're made from the same designer. Uh, however, there's going to be enough differences to warrant another review for this guy. Lastly here we have the SNG by Strider. And this is the Generation 6 version. And looking forward to doing a review on this, although I feel like I need to put in quite a bit more time using this one because it really is a very new strider. It really has to be broken in. The lock is still very, very stiff. And yeah, it's definitely a very, very burly knife. Not something I would normally carry, but really got to, uh, I really wanted to ex experience the strider feel, if you will. <laughs> Definitely is really, really barely you hear that click right there. Goodness. The, the G10, super grippy. Very aggressive, the texture G10. Absolutely wonderful. So yeah, that's some things to look forward to in the near future. I got the Sparkle Parent here, got the Strider SNG, Mini AA, as well. And don't forget the Jetbeam RRT0. Hope you guys have a very wonderful holiday and spend lots of nice quality time with your friends and family. Stay tuned for the next video. Take care.